Hey guys, Eric, Eric back after a little extended leave here. Um, here with logo video number 105. We're going to do the Washingtons. This is an, um, uh, my take on a minor league logo for a Virginia area team. And it's just George Washington using an axe to chop down a cherry tree or play baseball. Because apparently you can do both. So let's get right into it. Um, do the uniforms first. And you so this one I actually is a full team. It's in my uh, Ego 90 league. And I just like it. it the, the red and the black pop really well on the uh, pinstripes. And then the white and the red looks really good. Of course, that's Jersey 20, you know. I tend to do that one a little too much. And of course, they play at Colonial, which, you know, is where Washington should play. All right, so here you go. 32 layers, you're going to need uh, a nice dark red, right side, um, don't need two reds, and you need black, I, I, need a, I only put black in there because of the pants, um, a white, a nice rich deep blue, and then you need flesh color. So it's red, white, and blue, and then you need a brown. And this was just one of my one-off logos that I decided to turn into a team. That's why you see all the extra colors. All right, so red, white, blue, black, flesh, and a brown. I tried to do it with the baseball bat one when I was running low on layers, but it doesn't look right. It ends up being too big. So... Let's get into it. 32 layers of fun here. All right, so any any square in white, enlarge it all the way. Then do outline first because you're outlining on pretty much every part. Then we start off with the bat, which is in brown. It's going to be three underscores. Font one, of course. Negative seven, 38, 335, and nine. And then for the body, half circle in white. 31, negative 65, 250, and 33. Ellipse 2 for the left leg. 64, negative 123, 358, 19 in red. Then we're going to do left parentheses, font 1 in white. That's for the arm. Negative uh, 41, negative 63, 264, and 43. You might ask why isn't there a second arm? Um, just kind of ran out of layers and it was going to be a little hard to pop another one in there. Um, probably could steal something else if you really need to add that other arm, but I don't think it's necessary. You could get away with it, um, on the white, just doing arc. Like, no, I'll show you. Took, we took... This arc, and you it's in a, you'd have to put it, drop it underneath all the layers, and you could put it right there if you wanted to, or you could put another parentheses if you wanted to. All right. So after that, um, doing a rectangle one, just kind of for the cuff. Um, this is just more for aesthetics. You could probably take that off if you really didn't want it but I put it in there for looks. Um, so in white, negative 138, negative 46, 320, and six. And then trapezoid one for the right leg, the upper part of the leg in red, negative 10, negative 155, 53, and 14. Then another trapezoid one in white, negative 53, negative 90, sorry, negative 192, 49 rotation and six scale. And then swish nine for the shoe, and partially because of the outline, it kind of of you know overcomes the the sharpness of the edges on this, so it makes it look like what I'm looking for, like a cleat. Um, so that one's in negative 87, negative 212, 183, and 15. And then a trapezoid one for the bottom of the left leg in white 67, negative 165, 16, and 10. Ellipse 3 in blue, 48, negative 193, 18, and 13, and that's a shoe. And then a 
Lips 4 for the bottom of the shoe in white. 48, 195 negative, 19, and 11. That's another area where if you didn't really want that, you could probably save two layers if you didn't want the bottom of the shoe. Um, I would just, I would do a Lips 4 for the, sh the shoe itself then and not, and do that in blue and then not even do the Ellipse 3. That would give you uh, a decent looking shoe, but his foot's supposed to be kind of pointing up, so that's why he did it that way. All right, so to get creative with the hair, and if you know anything about you know colonial times, they all wore wigs a lot. So Cloud 2 works perfect for this in white. Negative 36, 93, 322, and 27. And then Rectangle 1 for the face in the flesh color. Negative 7, 69, 72, and 31. And then for his chin, uh, quadrant one in the flesh color, 43, 28, 247 rotation and 12 scale. And then swish 10 here, because, you know, I have to have a swish 10 in everything. Um, just to kind of round his face out a little bit more in the flesh color, 22, 95, 64, and 27. Before I forget, I've had a couple of... Um, new subscribers in the past um, week or so. So thank you all for joining. I appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate some feedback I've gotten recently too. I will look into um, some of the people to help me grow my channel. Um, I Just to let you guys know, I've been approached by a group on uh, Twitch to um, provide content for their channel, which will also give me some free press as well. So um, once that comes to fruition, um, they're setting up the the what they're trying to do first before they reach out to me. So, and I told them I do logos. I don't do a lot of content as far as baseball games, which I do some, but not a lot. And then they're more than welcome because I'll be different from all the other um, contributors. So that's coming up soon. Um, all right, so we need to do the nose. And as I told you guys, num the number seven is a fantastic for nose. So the number seven, font 16 in blue. 2389, 180, and 16. And then Swish 12 for the mouth in blue, 1935, 177, and 17. And then we're going to do left parentheses in font one. And that's just for like the little dimple on the, the outside of his, or the little curl on the outside of his mouth. And that's at negative 17, 44, 49, and 6. And that's in blue. And then we do another one it's for the eyebrows. This was. Instead of doing two, I just did, uh, this is more for the furrow of the brow, sorry. Um, so that's at 5, 113, 293, and 14. And then pinched oval in white, negative 10, 96, 75, and 6. And then I did comma in font 12. And guys, if you know, if you know me, this is one of my favorite ones. It's a very cool shape you can use for a lot of things. All right. So that's at negative 13, 96, 311, and 9. And then square 4 for the hands. Um, square 4 is my favorite when I'm trying to do hands because it kind of it's got a little bit of round to it, but it's got that square shape that I'm looking for. And it doesn't have any real sharp edges, so it, it works really well in flesh. Negative 170, negative 37, 335, and 10. Copy it. Negative 123, negative 12, 335, and 10. And then this was a space saver. So I did this, the up and down, the large, small L, I like to call it. And I did th three of them. And then I did one, two spaces, and then three more. Okay, in font one. And then I did skew vertical six. That was just uh, to give me a a better angle on it and then those go at negative 151 negative 20 334 and 5 so that's the to make the the fingers you know so you can see the definition of the fingers on the hand to make it look a little more realistic for a cartoon character then we use um, the dash font 7 which is a good eyebrow one by the way mark that down if you don't already know that one already and um, it's also good shading on eyes, too. So uh, negative 28, 117, 337, and 4. And then right parentheses, font 2. Okay. And that's just 
to give a little style under uh, under the arm. Nine negative one. I'm sorry. Nine negative seventy two two sixty five and nine. Then we move to the axe. We do shield six in red. One fifty six one thirty nine three thirty six and thirty one. Then we do trapezoid one to do the back end of the axe. One sixty eight one ten three thirty four and seventeen. And then flat triangle just for some styling. In white. 138, 186, 156, and 30. And then we do a dash. Font one in blue, 58, negative 199, 294, and two. And that's just for the bottom of the shoe to make it look like there's a heel. So again, if you want to do the other arm, you could, in theory, delete this. And then two ways. Arc would work really well. You gotta do it in blue. You're gonna have to put it all the way down underneath the outline so it doesn't get super shaded. And then you could do that right there. Yeah, you know what, let's keep that. All right, I think that looks better. And then do I really need the underarm arc? I really don't. So let's replace that. And then I'll put that dash back in, in blue. And there you go, it looks like he's got a heel again. All right, so there you go guys, nice and easy one. Um, I call this a geometric because it's it, obviously it's very striking geometric designs, there's a lot, lot of smoothness in it. I do like the fact, you know, he's lifting this leg. I've done a couple of ones like this where you see guys, you know, you know, in the, the act of swing as a baseball player, and I think it's uh, it looks cool. It's something you'll see in a lot of logos that use a person doing a baseball type pose. Um, so again, nice and easy one. Uh, I do not know what's next. I'm kind of making this up as I go along right now. But again, um, I do have news that um, I will be on a Twitch channel. I do have my own Twitch channel, which I'm working on building, um, but I'm gonna be part of another group's Twitch channel for content um, to just kind of help promote myself and get, get some more subscribers. So thank you for the, your support. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm always willing to take suggestions. Um, just understand that you can give me a suggestion. I might not get, I might not post it right away. I try to, but, um, Said so I got about 127 more that are in in the loop right now to get ready to go. So thank you again, and I'll see you soon.